my beautiful Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly reading. I hope you're doing good today. So we're looking at the energies of mid-May, okay? Not using dates anymore, so take this as it resonates. If you don't connect to my reading every week, that's totally normal and fine, okay? If you do relate to my message, please let me know. Press a like. Uh, yeah, and thank you for your support, guys. So let's see, Cancer, what is happening for mid-May. Okay, we have two cards here. It's time to take action and a new start is coming. Okay, so a brand new beginning for you, Cancer. We'll see what it's all about. I'm trying to make the weekly reading as personal as possible, trying to focus on you and not necessarily on an ex, a lover. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, it's time to take action. Maybe it's time to get out of your shell. Maybe you have an idea, a project that you want to start. Um, this is so general, but it, it's nice to set the tone for the reading. So let's start with the tarot and see what it's all about. What is that brand new beginning for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know at the moment? Okay, Page of Cups. Ooh, and the Four of Cups came out. So you've been contemplating the idea of doing something. It could be you telling someone how you feel about them. And it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend, a family member, or even a boss. Uh, even someone that you work with, okay? A co-worker. So you feel some type of way about someone, okay? I feel like it's positive, but take it as it resonates. There's something you want to share with someone and you've been contemplating the idea for a while, okay? Um, it's now time to take action. So, hmm, really general. The Four of Cups, a lot of people see this card as like either being ungrateful or uh, not taking action when you should, but it's not that. It's just being an intelligent human being and not saying yes to everything that comes your way. It's okay to take your time and really, uh, you know, go inwards and take the time to think what is good for you and not just accept any offer that comes your way. There was an offer, definitely, with the Page of Cups. Um, is it work-related? Is it love-related? You know that, okay? This is your story. But let's see. Tell me more about Cancer. Queen of Pentacle. Yeah, so this could have... Um, it could be related to your stability, fertility, uh, something really personal. The Queen of Pentacle is, to me, a really personal card, okay? So I feel like it's work-related for some of you. Uh, maybe you've been thinking about asking for a raise or telling someone how you feel at work. Maybe they haven't been treating you the way that you feel you should be treated. Or again, maybe you felt like you weren't paid enough and now you're going to be stepping into your power and ask for that raise or ask for, um, you know, more support when it comes to work. But again, seeing the cups, queen of pentacles, it could be something really personal um, that you connect more on, you know, more related to love, let's say. Let's pick more cards. This is this seems so general. Yeah, we have the fool that wanted to come out. Five of Pentacles. Cancer, have you been waiting for someone to communicate with you? This is your energy, okay? So it feels like you haven't been feeling yourself for a while. Okay, and now you're finally stepping into your power. You're finally finding more balance in the situation, but I'm going to be honest, and I don't want to make this reading about love, but I feel like you might have been waiting on someone to communicate with you. So it could be a past lover. It could be someone that you really cared about at one point, and you felt abandoned by them, okay? Um, they're either going to come towards you and tell you how they feel. And I think you're just going to be really honest and raw with them, even if it's a little uncomfortable for you. They're going to be seeing um, behind the show. Okay, so I say it all the time. You guys are like 
the crab is your symbol. So hard shell, but the inside is really tender. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, soft and beautiful what's inside. It could be someone who's a little done with someone's bullshit. Let's put it this way. Um, there's someone who hasn't been treating you the way you should be treated. This is how I feel about this reading. It's really intuitive, but you know that you deserve better in a situation. Yeah. You've been healing. You've been taking time for yourself, contemplating other options. And it's like you understand that you're worth more and you want more. And that is totally fine. Um, I really feel like you're going to be telling someone how you feel about a situation. And it's coming out a lot because it is tender for you. It's not something easy. It's something that either made you really sad in the past or you felt like you needed clarity on the subject, on something. And it felt really uncertain. And see, now we have a lot of blue cards popping out. So clarity, we're gaining clarity. We're slowly understanding that, oh shit, um, either people weren't honest with me, people were just giving me enough so I stay in a situation. Uh, and I think you're done being nice, okay? Cancer, I say it all the time, you guys are the ni nicest really uh, polite, nice, kind people. But if we mess with your energy, at one point you're gonna be done with that bullshit. And I think that's, that's what's happening here. Tell me more about cancer. Someone took your kindness for weakness, my love. Someone took your kindness for weakness and you're like, nope, I'm over, I'm over this, yeah. You're stepping into your power, you know, um, understanding that you can't depend on all the people around you necessarily. You're like, I'm going to depend on my own self, okay? Even if you feel like you lack a little bit of self-confidence at time, you're going to fake it. You're going to walk with your head up. You're going to ask what you want. You're going to be honest with your boundaries, be clear with your boundaries. You know, it's... It's easy to say that we have boundaries, but it's another thing to express them clearly to the people who are involved or, you know, the people who you need to share them with. And I think that there's something that is changing in your self-confidence. We're going to the page of cups who it's not that he's not confident. OK, but he's more about the play. He's not a strategic person. He isn't driven by his ego. He's not money driven. He's like more in a play, fun type of mind listening to his emotion maybe a little bit more up and down and we're switching to a queen of wands energy this is the baddest bitch of the tarot let's be honest this is like the type of energy that other people want in their life okay yeah I, if you're a single cancer who's been waiting on a next message you know a message from an ex maybe there was unfinished business look at that you're ending a cycle that was really heavy. It was uncomfortable for a while. You you got drained out, okay? You got burned out. You're taking some of these wands and you're finally taking them off your back. Their problems, their shitty attitude, it doesn't belong to you anymore. And what is happening? We're switching to a two of wands. So instead of carrying 10 freaking wands, chances are that eight of these wands were belong to somebody else. Now we have two wands, okay? Things are cooking. Things are slowly simmering and there's a lot of hope. You're feeling like you have a lot of hope for the future. I think that you might have been trapped in a situation where there was a lot of an unfair situation literally someone like i said took your kindness for weakness uh and they should have known better but see so many blue cards blue and the tarot is clarity is finally uh getting out of darker days and seeing what's in front of us and being like oh shit i have a lot of hope for the future a lot i have a lot of hope for myself uh getting your self-confidence back okay uh, it doesn't mean that every day is going to be happy, sunshine, and butterflies, okay? This is not how life works. Um, and you're an emotional human being, and that's beautiful. Things might be a little bit up and down for a while, okay? But you're going to be freeing yourself from an energy that really hurt you in the past, 
okay someone was a little bit childlike um yeah you've been waiting you've been so freaking per patient with that person like i said could be friend ex a boss co-worker take it as a resonate if you don't connect to love uh that's totally normal and fine uh there it could be a situation at work definitely yeah but i think you're moving on let's start clarifying okay guys I'm using the Botticelli Tarot to clarify. Give me clarity on the Page of Cups. Give me clarity on the Page of Cups. Ooh, okay, we have the Page of Sword. So Page of Sword is the hero of the deck. He's the page that prepares us for tower moments, for difficult moments. Um, if you're not familiar with the tarot, a tower moment is when the universe is stepping in, okay? It hurt in the moment, but it's always for your greater good. So, page of sword, you know, again, I feel like someone is going to be coming in, finally giving you an answer or finally communicating with you after you waiting for a freaking long time. And I do feel like for some of you, it's too late. You're feeling like it's too late for that person to either apologize or finally tell you things how it is. You're like, why haven't you been honest before? Why have you been treating me this way? I don't deserve that shit. Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So the fact that you took your time, you were patient, okay? This is what is bringing you your brand new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is like a step, one more step closer to ha happiness and comfort. A lot of comfort comes with the Ace of Pentacles. And again, the universe is like handing you a gift, either a brand new job, a brand new relationship, or just... I see in my intuitively it's weird a clean plate of food it's intuition is weird guys it's like you're finally starting over you're finally giving yourself time to um work on a new life work on more stability for yourself you want to put yourself first and you don't want to feel bad about it I love that ace of pentacles you know that it's positive Trust me, this is literally a gift from the universe. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles, and anytime you see a hand in a tarot handing you something, it has to be equal give and take. It's not just you sitting there and opening your arms to what the universe has to give you. No, there's going to be work to do. Okay, so this gift, this new beginning, it comes with a lot of work, but you're willing to do it because you want to be happy, you want to get comfortable. Queen of Pentacles. Give me clarity on the Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Sword getting released. So this confirms, this is the second ten that we have here. This confirms that you're closing a cycle, a really difficult one. I feel like you've been carrying on your shoulders other people's problem and other people's like heartache. Not saying that you don't have any of your own. You clearly do. But it's time to, you know, get released a little bit. Close a chapter in your life. So maybe some of you are contemplating the idea of leaving work, leaving a relationship, a friendship, something that wasn't serving you. I'm not feeling like it was something too toxic. It could have been. I don't want to diminish your pain if you've been going through something really hard and difficult. I feel like you got tired at one point. Of, of like a repetitive behavior, kind of childish-like behavior. Chariot. The Magician. Wow. This is your energy chariot. is Cancer energy. And now we have the Magician. Again, a brand new beginning. We're going from a 10 to a 1. How fast are you evolving, Cancer? This is major... And I'm, I'm kind of fed up of using the word transformation when I do tarot reading. But transforming for me is when we learn from past mistakes and we don't repeat them. Also, we learn from other people's mistakes. People who hurt us. We know the type of people we don't want to be. The, ty the type of people we don't want to be around also. And I think you're just learning a lot about humans in general. Um, I like that. 
I like that you're finally giving yourself a brand new beginning. Maybe you were a little bit scared in the past, feeling like you were stuck. There is a feeling of you feeling stuck for a while and now it's finally evolving and a lot faster than you imagine. Seven of Cups, King of Wands. How beautiful is that there, guys? I'm obsessed with the Botticelli Tarot. Um, King of Wands is, first of all, really comfortable or getting comfortable having difficult conversation. Especially seeing him um, with the Seven of Cups, it's like you don't feel bad contemplating all the other options that you have. You know you are worthy of that. I feel like in the past, some of you kind of felt bad for another person who was the one treating you wrong. I know it sounds weird, but intuitively, this is what I'm feeling. I have goosebumps right now. Someone hurt you, definitely. They hurt your feelings. And I feel like at the end of the day, you were still feeling bad of stepping into your power and being like, you know what, get the F out of my life. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm worth more than that. Your brain was telling you all these stories that, you know, you might have not felt good enough for a situation or uh, just not feeling good enough in general. And it's totally changing now. And I feel like it could be a new person coming in and changing your idea about how you feel. Um, but it all comes from you. It all comes from you and your patient your patience, definitely, and you being the bigger person in a situation. Star, give me more clarity on the star. We have the lover's card. Wow. I love that. So definitely for some of you, it could be a new love situation. But you know what? At the end of the day, you are your own soulmate, Cancer. And I think you're finally realizing that. I'm not saying that you're necessarily single. And if you are, it doesn't mean you're going to stay single. I think that you're opening up to, you know, being hopeful about having a serious love. Uh, it's like you love yourself enough now that you can let someone in. But trust me, this is a lot about being your own soulmate. Um... Again, doesn't mean that you don't want anyone in your life, but let that sink in, okay? Being your own soulmate. And I'm seeing in my head a magnet. You attracting a bunch of good energy because you are living your life by being your own soulmate. I love that energy so much. Queen of Wands. The Six of Wands. Victory. Okay, you are victorious. You are celebrating yourself and people will be celebrating yourself also. Okay, um, your birthday is coming kind of fast. Not right now, but I feel like when your birthday happens, Cancer, um, you're going to be in a totally new state of mind. I feel like a lot of release is coming out of me. It feels so comfortable feeling like you can breathe again. Feeling like you're not only focusing on the negative and seeing the negative, you're going to be really happy to be alive. I know it sounds cheesy, but intuitively, this is what is coming out. People are going to be celebrating you and your accomplishments. Trust me. A loved one also. Ten of Wands. Give me clarity on the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. So clarifying that, yeah, you felt abandoned at one point. It could be by a lover. It could be by a good friend. It was uncomfortable, but you're getting out of this situation with the Ten of Wands, getting released. Like I said, some of these wands didn't even belong to you, my love. And now you're understanding that, okay? Uh, you are really emotional and you take like a little sponge everyone else's emotion, Okay. And it could be, it can be hard to be an empath. Let's be honest, it's not the easiest thing. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like, why are you being so sad? Everything is good around you. Well, listen, you don't understand what's happening in my brain and I can't really explain it. So let me be. But again, you're going to be moving out of this five of pentacle energy, which is feeling abandoned, being a little bit scared to ask for help and moving into a six of pentacle energy which is stability, 
okay? An equal give and take with you and others. So you learned a lot, okay? Learned a lot of lesson from this person who wasn't treating you the way you should be treated. Um, you're gonna find you're gonna find a new um, understanding of what is balance, what it is for you. Because it's easy to throw that word in all the time, especially for general readers. Trust me, like you're finding balance, you're finding balance. But balance is like being able to not go in excess all the time, not being incredibly sad and letting a situation affect us for years and years. Um, and also not being cold. It's like, you know, we're finding balance. We're not going in excess. We are in alignment with the devil energy. Uh, if you know Tara a little bit, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, two of Wands. Give me clarity on the Two of Wands for Cancer. And we have the Knight of Sword. Confirming that things are going to be evolving a lot faster than you can imagine, okay? You're going to be using your body in different ways as the sun comes out wherever you live. So maybe for some of you, it's about, you know, training, exercising, and it's never about losing weight or the way you look. I'm saying using your body in ways that make you feel good. Focus on yourself, on your health, and fuck these people who didn't treat you right, okay? So Cancer, uh, I hope you connected to that reading. Let me know, uh, how do you connect? Did someone took your kindness for weakness? Did you finally made a cleanup in your life? Is a work-related family, friends, lover? If you're comfortable sharing, I want to know, okay? Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for being so kind in the comments all the time. You guys are really special. And I will be bringing you your soulmate reading in a couple days. So we'll see what is up with that lover's card, this new situation, new beginning. I'm excited to see. Okay, Cancer. Take care. Bye-bye.